Hello everyone. Yes, we've got the bullet fabric out again. I'm spoiling you all. Excuse the noise in the background. My children are having a bit of a crazy moment. They've been homeschooling all day and they're now on Minecraft and they're shouting to each other from one room to the other. So yeah, I'll have a little background music playing when I edit the video. So hopefully that'll mute them out a little bit. Right, so we are going to be making another head wrap but this is going to be a celtic or celtic how do you pronounce it celtic or celtic i don't know but anyway celtic celtic not headband i've seen this tutorial done but using like the scuba fabric or like a thinner stretchy fabric not with bullet i've looked everywhere and i've not seen one with bullet so this could be a first so this is going to be what we're making today if you want it chunkier like this one it will stand up from the head more this was three inches wide by 85 centimeters long so that is the measurements for a chunkier version and you can see the design in this one more not because it's chunkier but because it's all one color it's quite hard to see in this one but i'm going to be using leopard print because i wanted one for my little girl and I've cut this strip already to length. And now the length you want is 75 centimeters. But with bullet, compared to the scuba fabric, this is obviously thicker. So I've found that um, you actually need a lot thinner. So I'm going to show you how I cut it while I'm doing it. So that's why I haven't cut this piece yet. So this piece I basically cut too big. So to cut this, I am going to fold it in half like I already have. So it's folded in half and I want 75 centimetres in length. Half of 75 is obviously 37.5. So what I'm going to do is once this is laid down and folded neatly, taking a ruler, I'm going to measure 37 and a half so I'm at, I've actually got my ruler this end look so on the folded side so I've set it to 37 and a half so I know I need to cut it to here so I'll just do a little cut in it so I can see I'll just pull this over and then I'm going to pop this down I'm not measuring anything now I'm just using my metal ruler as a hard surface and I'm going to run my rotary braid along that edge. Like that, make sure that's come away. A little bit of a strand still attached, like that. So now we have the correct length. So if I lay these two next to each other, as you can see, we now have the same length folded. And then the width of it, I need it to be around two inches wide. This is three inches, so I need to cut around an inch off. So again, making sure that's folded neatly in half. I'm going to measure, I'll do it this end so you can see. Sorry, I'm struggling because my workspace is not very big here with the camera. So I want it cut to two inches. So if I just do a little cut here, so I know and then again I'm going to use my ruler as a hard edge because I don't have a proper nice big fabric ruler unfortunately so I'm just doing this by eye so I'm lining this up with that little slit that I've just made and then I'm going to use my arm to put some pressure on there to hold it in place excuse my bent ruler as I said in my last video my children I've taken this ruler and played with it and it's now just can't be saved and then I'm going to start cutting along the fabric running it along the hard edge of my ruler going over it a couple of times because obviously this is doubled up fabric 
It don't have to be too neat to be fair. You'll see why when we get to it. See here, sometimes that happens. You get like a little, you get these little splits what come away, but that don't matter. You'll see why. This is why it'll be good to have a proper good fabric ruler to place over that fabric. Any little bits that are still joined, I'm just separating them. Like that. So now we have our two strips which are two inches wide. Or five centimeters wide and they are both unfolded 75 centimeters in length. Now with the scuba fabric you just kind of pull it and they naturally sort of roll in and stay there but with this fabric being thicker that don't sort of stay rolled in so I'm going to be using a little bit of this all-purpose adhesive and I'm going to roll these sides inwards and just pop some glue here and there along this edge and just roll this up like that. They don't have to be overlapped by a particular amount, just roll it over using that glue just to make like a little tube shape. And then I'm just going to set that one aside and do exactly the same method with the second piece of fabric. So now we have our two pieces of fabric and we've formed these sort of tubular like shapes. So we're going to take one piece of the fabric, fold it in half, it's hard to get it on the camera, and lay it down like that. It's just fold it in half. And then taking this piece which is closest to me, so I'm obviously this side, I'm going to cross that over. So that's like a little loop at the top there. And then, I'm trying to fit it all on the camera so you can see it. And then taking this bottom piece, bring it up again. So you've got like this number eight. like that and then we're going to do it once more so you've now got three circles make sure that this first piece goes over under over and then this top piece goes under over and then under down towards you that has to be in the same way, that is important. And then taking a few clips, clip all of those points that cross over in place and that will just help you while you're working on your knot. Like that. And then the second piece, I'm just going to twist this a little bit. So I've just twisted that a little bit to hide that seam. I'm going to keep working on making the seams at the bottom as I'm doing it. So taking your second piece, again, folding it in half, and we're basically going to form this same shape in twining, but the opposite way. So where the fold was this end, this one is with the fold on to towards the left. So I'm going to lay this over my bottom piece like that and then this piece which goes under you want this piece to now come over 
and this piece which is coming over is coming out from underneath and I'm making sure that these ends are in line so this is what we've got now so this is coming over and this piece which is going over is coming under now taking this top piece which is coming over this flap here we're going to take it under in this first loop so take this piece and bring it under through the middle just through this side not this side through the middle of that loop making sure that this part stays as it is and then I'm going to just lift this up and take this bottom piece and lay that across underneath So as you can see, that crosses over like this. And then this first piece, which is now just laying over the top of that, we're going to bring it back through and under this piece here. So starting off with that first piece, which we tucked under, tuck that between these two here and underneath. So this is what we've got now. You can see the braid or the Celtic knot starting to form and now we're going to repeat those steps basically from where we started here so again taking this top piece this time we're working on the middle little hoop here we're going to bring this through that middle hoop and lift that up bring this piece under it looks like that and then again take this piece which is laying over this middle part tuck it under through this gap and then out underneath that outer edge of that middle ring like this and then the same again take this piece bring it in lift it up this one then goes under and then this top piece comes out and now as you can see we've done a full knot now we're going to carefully remove these clips I'm just going to use them to pinch these ends for now just so I can make sure that that doesn't come unraveled after all that work you don't want it to unravel so I'm just going to use that to pinch those edges together, take the middle clip out and now we can pull this tight. So we're just going to work through, pull on the knot. And as I'm pulling it, any little seams that show, you can kind of twist it so that the seam goes to the underside. Like here, for example, that shows a little bit, so I'm just going to give that a little twist. And then you should end up with this pretty little knot shape and you want to make sure that the knot shape is central to these tails. Like that. Can you see that lovely shape? You could even use two colours. If you use two colours you end up with obviously this side would be all one colour and this side would all be one colour. And then you'd see these little woven bits going diagonal with the other colour in. But I wanted to do it all one colour. 
So I've already got a needle and a thread prepared with a knot in the end. I'm just going to set that aside. Now keeping it on this side, because as you can see on the underside, I've fiddled with it so that most of my sort of seams are on the underside. So we want to bring these ends together and obviously we're going to bring them together this way up so that when we flip it in the right way, the stitch and the join is on the inside. So keeping it the correct way up, if you look here, you can see how this piece is over the top. This piece is coming out and this piece is coming out. So we're going to bring these two pieces together first. So we're going to bring this piece up with this seam on this outer edge. Bring this piece up with this roll seam on the outer edge and place them together like that. And then bring the opposite side with the seam on the outer edge and lay that up and then this side again with the seam the join on the outer edge and bring that up and these are now going to be all sewn together so I'm just going to turn it around to make it easier make sure they're in line taking my needle and thread and I'm going to start stitching through making sure I catch all of those layers I'm going to go in and out a few times in that first corner and then sew all the way across And then to seal this off, I'm just going to go through this end and instead of pulling it completely tight, I'm going to keep the loop there and I'm going to pop my needle. I'm sorry, you can't see, can you? So I've got a loop here, I haven't pulled it tight. and I'm going to just pop my needle through that loop a couple of times to form a knot. And then you can trim off all those little excess pieces of thread. Now you could trim this bit, but I've sewn it quite close to the edge. I will trim off a little bit just to make it look nice and even, but I don't want to cut through my stitching, so I'll just cut it to make it nice and straight. And just run a lighter over that edge to get any threads loose threads out like that and then we're going to flip it the correct way as you can see you've got that nice double strands at the sides and that gorgeous Celtic knot pattern at the top it's a gorgeous head wrap I love this one I think this is one of my favorites I'll actually wear this myself now I like to cover this piece because as you can see that don't look very good. So I've just got a little piece of scrap fabric here. This is about one and a half inches by three inches. And to cover this up, I'm going to lay it underneath. And as you can see, it's the wrong way round, but that don't matter. And then I'm going to just pick it up and I'm going to join these two ends together. And I'm going to do it so it fits snug to the headband. So I'm going to start sewing close to the headband. So it don't matter if you've got a little bit of excess because we can trim that off afterwards. So I'm going to now sew this all the way across.
and then I'm going to trim off any excess fabric be careful not to cut your stitching like that and then you can then turn this piece I'm just going to move it to the side and then we're going to flip that in the correct way and then slide it over that join so as you can see that then covers that join and then taking my hot glue gun I'm just going to carefully pop a little bit of hot glue on the underside and that will just hold that in the correct position so that don't slide and you end up seeing the join and there you have your finished Celtic, Celtic, however you pronounce it, knotted headband. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye bye.